Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Stitching with Sue here, here to do another fun, fun video. Um, been having some fun today. Finally, a uh, chance to sit down at the old embroidery machine um, and uh, pump out some work, right? So um, if you're brand new here and you're wondering, well, what is this all about? Uh, my name is Susan and I am um, a home embroiderist. I use a home embroidery machine. I have a brother, Essence, VE2300, and love this machine. Um, if you're interested in a machine, brother, I, I highly recommend their brand. They're affordable and very easy to use. And if you're brand new and you're just wondering where to begin, then you're at the right place because not too long ago, I was in your same shoes. And, um, I just want to first off say that this video will include chit chat, but it's a quick video. So I got to get all my chit chat in before I begin. So anyhow, thanks so much for coming. And if you like and enjoy what you're seeing here today and you're not yet a subscriber, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel and I would really appreciate it. It's absolutely free. And how you do that is you click on the box that says subscribe. Once you click on that, there'll be a little bell. If you click on that bell, if you hit the top one where it's all colored in, then you will receive notifications when I upload a new video. And you may choose to watch or not. I hope you choose to watch because I would appreciate that. And if you know of someone that would be interested in this whole thing of machine embroidery or maybe just pique their interest, be sure to share it and leave a comment down below. Nice comments, please. If they're a nasty comment, it's gonna go. That's just how it goes. So um, what have I been working on? Let me share this with you. This is a quick project. Tomorrow, tomorrow is July 1st. Let me reach over here. Tomorrow is July 1st, 2023, which um, makes me start thinking of Christmas. Oh, I know Christmas in July. So what I have been making today, I uh, found this um, project on Etsy, an Etsy shop. You can go to Etsy and you can search uh, machine embroidery, whatever kind of design you want. Of course, you have to pay for it. Um, you can head over to Create a Fabrica. You can join over there and get all of your downloads for free. You can go to many other sites and get tons and tons and tons of different types of machine projects. But let me, oh, I'm sorry, hit the, oh my goodness, now I hit the, <laughs> it's like avalanche here, I'm trying to work around the cord. So let me share with you um, what I'm working on. Um, my, uh, well, I guess they should go this way or you're going to be pigeon toed. My uh, grandson and well, my son as well, they're into these cowboy boots. I think my son wears cowboy boots all the time. So w if you have um, maybe little girls or granddaughters or nieces or nephews or anybody um, that has little, say, fashion dolls or um, what I'm working on are some clothing and things for my elf on the shelf. These are, oh my gosh, I keep reaching over to the right. I'm right-handed and the cord comes out on the right. These are little 3D cowboy boots. Look at the inside. Just slip their little feet in there. So that was my first one and I realized I can't use big scissors when I'm trimming these out. I need smaller scissors. So I made those. Then next up, I'm like, well, I can't forget. I'm gonna try to reach over on the left side so I don't hit the, the camera, but if I do, I'm so sorry. Um, I can't, why do I keep doing pigeon toe? Here's a little pair of pink boots. Now my thought is these little circles, I have embellishments and um, we'll, we'll do that at the end. We'll add a little embellishment. So there's little pink boots. And then of course, you know, you can't get away without having, um, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for hitting. <laughs> um, some little leopardy boots. These boots are made for walking and they open up, they're 3D. Oh my gosh, they are so fun to make and you just have to cut them out. I would recommend I use, um, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator as well, so I kind of put a little plug in there for that. I like to use what we call, um, if I could find them here on this, messy desk we call these let me grab them in here without hitting the cord these are called paper snips 
and I have this big thing on here because these are for ribbon cutting. Now, if you're unaware, scissors, if you do paper cutting, it dulls your scissors. So once you cut paper with scissors, you can't go back to cut fabric or threads. Well, I guess you probably could do threads, but yarns, any type of uh, fabric-y uh, material. Um, but keep a pair just for paper and keep a pair for, for sewing. So those of you that are sewists, you know that, you already know that. But I did use these to cut them out because I figure I'm cutting vinyl. These are being stitched on vinyl. Let me put that down here. And um, they're done in a four by four hoop. So those of you with four by fours, you could do these. Now, if you have uh, larger hoops, nope, Sue, don't go over on the right again. Ugh. If you have a five by five hoop, I was able to do two pair at one time on five by five. Let me flip it over. Here's the back, five by five. So um, I wanna show you how fun, quick, simple, this is adorable. I have some blue thread in because I'm going through all my vinyl. Nope, Sue, you got to go on the left. Boy, it's, it's, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. Look at this. Isn't this fancy? I'm telling you. So I don't know. I'm thinking of selling these. Um, I've sold um, before in the past at craft shows. I've sold all sorts of elf clothing. And, um, you know, it doesn't just have to be elves. It could be for fashion dolls. You know, it fits the same thing. I believe it fits like a 12 inch doll. Oop, and now I'm hitting the microphone. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So I have tearaway stabilizer in here, 7511 needle. I have blue thread, top and bottom matching because you're gonna see the back. You want it to matchy matchy. And this glittery star. You know, uh, there's going to be some fancy elves out there this year. And this is a five by seven hoop. Again, tearaway stabilizer, 7511 needle, five by seven hoop. I think I said all that. I'll probably repeat myself 50 times because that's just how it goes. So I know five by seven hoop, I can fit two of them. And I just did the last one. So you can go ahead and do, um, and Dory says hello to everyone. You, hi, Dory. Hello, everyone says hi. Everyone loves you, Dory. You got dirty nose, you gotta go clean your nose. Um, I, I'm gonna do a tracer, which is, it's a little box with dashes and an arrow. So, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna show you where the design is gonna stitch out so you know that you'll have enough room. That looks good to me. I, I just stitched one out so I know. Dory, I'm sorry. My people are like wanting to know how to do this and they're already complaining that I talk too much. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And what it's going to do is it's going to do, I have one layer of the vinyl and this is vinyl that I've had. I don't even know where I got it. I couldn't even tell you. Um, I'm going through my vinyl and little projects like this are perfect. Uh-oh, what's that sound? I had a little issue with some thread before. So hopefully... Dory, please, not right now. I'm trying to look around the camera. I'll be with you in a un momento, por favor. And no, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> but um, anyhow, this is going to stitch out... Yeah, I don't know what that noise is. We may have to investigate. Um, this is going to stitch out the front. And it's going to do the, the left and the right. I may need to replace my needle. So now it's going to do the other boot. So I hope you've all been well. Um, yeah, I thought something was wrong there. Dory, honey. I know you have a lot to say. I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Oh, close. I'm gonna cut my thread. I'm gonna take a look, see what's underneath going on. Let's lift this up. Yeah, yeah, I know. Use the presser foot lifter button. I already did that. Let's do the needle thing. Okay. Oh. Ugh, 
caught on the wire again. Oh my, it didn't cut the thread here. All right. The only problem when doing videos like this on your close quarters is working around a camera. There's, uh, other than trying to do it maybe uh, above me, which I don't think I, I could reach that far. Um, I'm working in between. So it makes it difficult to work around things. And if you've been around here, you know, I pretty much go through this all the time with you explaining that it, it is difficult um, at times to, uh, to work around. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of caterpillar in there in my thread. But we're going to persevere. We're going we're gonna to go, okay, Sue, on the left. You know, when you're right-handed, you want to do everything on the right. And I thought this was going to be a great project because I wasn't going to have to change my thread. But it's not looking that way, folks. All right, I'm going to go back into the program. And I'm going to go back. Let's try. No, I'm going to go back 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay, plus 10, 10, 10. I actually could just go back and restitch the whole thing. Let's just go do that. You know, why not? Um, sometimes my mind's not working, folks, so give me a minute here. All right, we're just going to go back and we're going to restitch the whole thing. Because you know what? This, this is uh, 1,618 stitches and it only takes three minutes. So rather than, um, well, I guess I should put my thread back on top. That might be helpful. <laughs> rather than uh, trying to find where I left off and yada yada. Let's just do, let's just do this again. And sometimes I do that, you know, just, just because. All right, let's thread our needle. I'm probably going to have to change my needle. Oh, gosh, it's Sue, stop reaching on the right, would you please? <laughs> All right, let's, um, oh, I already did that. I'm having a moment today. I'm like a little bit, I don't know. All right, let's try this again. Now, it may make a little bit more noise or whatnot because it's stitching over again, but we'll see what happens. And you know what? If you don't see this video, that means I had to start over. Oh, I heard that again. Did you hear that? Check and re-thread upper thread. I mean, why? Hold on a sec. I got to move y'all all, all out of the way here. Or you're all going to be thinking, man, she's like doing an avalanche for us folks here. You know what? I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to uh, change the needle. Just got some new needles, um, some Schmetz embroidery needles. And um, I am going to, uh, well, it looks like one of them isn't in here. I wonder if it fell out. There's only four needles in here. Maybe it fell out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the needle. So you get to uh, witness that as well. And I'm looking because I have a little nickel. I wasn't planning on changing the needle here, but I have a little nickel that I use. Hmm. Well, that isn't going to be good unless I have it on the other machine. No, um, I was been running my PE770 machine. Um, let's see it there. Let me look at my little tray here. Up oh, there it is. But I have an old PE770 and wait, my cancer treatment unit. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, you all know that if you've been following me, I have this big machine and, and I can't see around this. I'm going to have to move you over a little bit more, folks. Let me try to get in here. But I like to use the needle, um, the nickel, to change the needle. 
because you can get in there and really tighten that up. Now this I'm going to put right there, stick it in the pin cushion for now. Um, so the needle is going to go with the flat edge to the back and I like to put it down when I'm changing because it's tight quarters in here. So let me let me stop talking for a minute. Some of you may be like, thank God. <laughs> I know you're not. I know you don't think that way. Tighten this up. Okay, and then I'm going to use this nickel. And um, last time I had it, I can't see where the little thing is. Hold on. There we go. Last time I had it in for service, the guy told me half the problem with a lot of people that they don't realize is that um, their needle isn't, um, let me lift my foot, their needle isn't uh, tight enough in there. And I was finding that was happening before, now why is that not? Before, um, hold on a sec. Uh oh, now you're wrapped around the camera. Where is the thing here? There we go. It got discombobulated. All right, let's see. Let's see if that's going to help. Sometimes, you know, it could very well be the thread. I have, um, all right, I think we're going to be good now. Let me move you back over. Um, yeah, this is 20 minutes already. I should have been like long gone with this one. All right, I'm going to go back. Did I start at the beginning? I really don't remember. Um, I'm just going to restart because I don't know where I left off. I get, I get confused. All right, let's let's try this again. So it'll be a couple stitch overs. Oh, what is going on? I'm not gonna talk <laughs> till it gets going. Sometimes it could have just been the needle. Sometimes it's the thread. If I notice that I change the needle and I, I change a few things and I'm still having issues, you know, like everything, thread gets old. Oh, now my cancer treatment alarm is going off. All right, I'm going to have to just turn that off for now because it's just going to keep beeping. All right. Is it like Friday the 13th today or something? Good heavens. What else? Nope, never mind. I already had that discussion with Jesus the other day that I'm not going to ask him, what else are you going to bring me? You know, like, you you bring me all this bad stuff I can't handle anymore. <laughs> um, okay, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to go back and redo this boot because this boot don't look like that boot. So um, let's go back. Oh, oh, no, no, no. All right, let's see. Plus. Plus. 
I'm just adding the plus. I'm not sure how much pluses I need to add, but I want to stitch over that second boot. Oh my gosh, is, are you kidding me? Somebody must be um, delivering something. Probably the mailman. I'm just going to continue here. Because I'm not sure where. I want it to look the same, you know. Because it went over that other one twice. But this video should not last this long. If you're if you're making these at home, all these things aren't going to happen. But you know what? These are good things. These are, are learning things, right? Y'all are seeing if something happens, you know, don't panic. You know, don't throw any cuss words out. Don't get mad at Jesus, you know. Yeah, I think that that's good. Because it's going to go over it one more time when you put the backing on. Okay. All right. All right. Let me get my big scissors because I'm going to have to trim this because I don't think I'm going to have enough to do front and back. Let me get this hoop out of here. You probably are like, yeah, get that hoop out of there already, would you please? <laughs> All right. I'm just going to trim this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my hoop over and I'm going to, and I'll show you, I'm going to use some tape, I like to just use this medical tape because I have it. And I just put it along the edges because when I go to flip this over to put it back in the hoop, I want to make sure that I don't flip over the fabric. And how do I know that that could happen? Because it's happened. <laughs> All right, yep, suit the left side. Okay, so here's... Here's the back side. I put my fabric here. I put some tape here. Okay. And then I'm just going to hang on to this. And, um, and now here comes the dog. <laughs> Hold on a second. I got to move this. I don't know what my problem is today. My tape came off. You don't want to go through all this and then find out that it gets smushed just because you were in a hurry. Put that tape back on. Let me hang on to it. Slip this back into the hoop. Press that, take a peek. Looks good. Whew, this is a struggle today and I apologize for that because you know, well you know, I don't normally struggle with my projects. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna do the back. This is going to stitch the uh, back onto the front. And then I'll show you what you do with that. And this is only going to take one minute. So fingers crossed. Everybody cross your fingers. Something don't sound right. But we're stitching multiple times over it. So I'm going to say, okay. And this is just going to... Yeah, see, I told you something's not right. It's either this thread might need to get ditched or I flip over to my PE 770. I think I may do that later. You know, the other night I was making these uh, angels, these uh, freestanding lace angels, and um, I had both machines going because I felt bad that Bad Bob and Betty was over there sitting. Now, you know, she really shouldn't be called that anymore because when I took both my machines in to get service last year before I had my, um, my episode of my, my brain tumor, um, they, they were working fine. It just, it took me a while to get myself acclimated and back into embroidering and, um, Bad Bob and Betty, she, um, she works like a charm now. She, th when I bought her... Oh, I heard that again, the thread. Did you see the thread? Did you all see that? Did you all see that? Okay. 
There was a big honker there. This thread's gonna go in the trash. Oh, Sue, the left, please. All right, hold on, let me move you back. I hope you're all still there and not saying, you know what, this woman has no clue what she's doing, because I really do. I mean, the thread's gonna go in the trash when I'm done. There's, well, there's not a, you know, a whole lot on it. I mean, there is, but there, sometimes thread gets old. Now, um, speaking of thread, be careful with your thread because um, you don't want it out in the elements. You know what I'm gonna, while I'm uh, doing this and pulling that through, I'm gonna take a peek at my bobbin and see if there's anything going on with that. I'm gonna trim this. I mean, I don't think it's the bobbin. I've been using these sim thread bobbins. But um, take that out of there and reload the bobbin because we're on the final. We're, this is the final countdown, folks. The final countdown. Um, but your thread, let me go back to that. I'm sorry, I have um, brain cancer. And if you're brand new here, you may be thinking I'm just like off the wall. But, you know, I go off on tangents. But anyhow, your thread, you want to be careful how you store your thread. Should I just leave you guys there? Let me go back. Can you see? No, you're kind of off a little bit. See, it's hard for me to see what you could see because the camera's right in front of my face. Because I don't want to um, hook. Okay, well, hold on. I don't want to hook my camera stand to my table because then you'll feel like you're going through an earthquake. Um, but be careful how you store your thread. Um, I have one hanging on the wall, but the, the light, the sun is not directly beating on it. You don't want the sun to beat on it because it'll dry rot. Um, I have a um, chest of drawers, just those plastic ones with the little drawers. And um, I keep all my thread in those drawers. Oh, I heard that. Let me, let me just be quiet. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. That was a struggle. I don't think it has anything to do with the vinyl. I just think it's the thread. Okay. And here's what I'm doing with this thread. I'm cutting and tossing it in a trash because I've already changed the needle. I've already done whatever's tossed in the trash. So yeah, keep your thread protected. I guess that's probably what I was trying to say. Right, let me look at the back here. Yeah, well, this one isn't like the bestest. Trim some threads because we got some threads here. I think this will be for my uh, for my elf jingle bell. I really think she would like these boots. I think she'd be fancy, fancy. All right. Okay, I'm going to move you all over to the table here. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to move you to the table. Let me clean the table first. And come on over. Come on. Come on. Over here. Uh-oh. Caught it on. Caught on the arm. Don't mind the mess. This is the desk of mess. All right. Got my fan going here. So let's just go to this one here. And where did I put my scissors? I'm going to show you. I'm just going to use this black one. You'll probably be able to see. But look at this cute vinyl that I had gotten last year with the elves on it. If you know, if you have any great ideas of what I can create with this, let me know. I'm thinking a pair of boots would be cute, but I don't know what else. But all right, let me get my scissors. Okay, so these were the ones I did before. And. All you're going to do, it doesn't matter, you know, if you do one at a time or two or, you know, whatever. This is, this is the next step. Tear away. But yeah, back to the thread. Keep your thread protected because the sun will just beat on it. And it will just, you know, 
dry rot. Dry rot your thread. And it's, it is a thing. It's a thing. Okay. How late? We're 30 minutes into this thing. I'm so sorry. All right, so I got two boots. All right. I'm going to trim this. And all these little scraps of the vinyl, like, uh, you know, this, of course, you know, is just going to get trashed. But these little pieces, I keep them in a little um, protected thing. And um, I, uh, I use them for little projects. If I'm doing little quilted projects. Let me go in the back here. Use my smaller scissors. I'm just going to trim some of these. Go. I try not to trim close to the machine because I don't want any of these little threads going into my machine. All right. So then, what you're going to do is very carefully sharp pair of scissors. I'm just trimming any loose threads. Um, you're just going to cut around. And this this piece of vinyl is a nice soft vinyl. Some vinyls are a little bit heavier. So what you can do is just, while one is stitching, you can just go ahead, you know, let me take my glasses off. I did get a new pair of glasses, but this is like a little bit fine detail work. And I wanna make sure that I'm doing a good job here. But um, just want to cut around your little pair of boots. And like I said, I was using the larger pair of scissors and I was struggling with them. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to, uh, and I'm working, let me put this here, because I'm working the desk that's black and boots that are black and it's hard to see. But one of the things that was affected with my brain cancer was um, the vision. So I did get a new pair of glasses. I picked them up a, actually a week ago today. And can I just tell you when I put them on, my daughter I think wanted to crawl under the chair because when I started saying, oh my gosh, I could see, I could see. She's out in the waiting room like embarrassed, like wanting to just like go hide. I'm sure it wasn't that bad, but you know, I was so excited that, um, I hadn't been able to, to see clearly for some time. Okay, where's my other boot? My other boot. That, um, you know, you really don't realize. Okay. Let's trim out our other boot. But like I said, um, I'm not even going to bother to put a link for where I got this. It's, I got it off Etsy. You can go many, many places online for designs. They had another one that had like fancy, fancy stitching. But I thought, you know, this one was, I don't know, was it $2 or a dollar or something? It was reasonably priced. And I thought somebody was um, sending me some um, super chats. So I got a little extra pay from um, YouTube. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to absorb that right back in to um, a few new designs. So you're going to be seeing some new designs um, coming up. Let me bring that a little close. I don't know. I just feel like I'm struggling with seeing this black. But these are like biker boots, don't you think? They remind me of biker boots. But we're going to bling them up. Let's see. I think I need to have some lunch, too. I feel like my blood sugar is um, getting a little low. I got all worked up there with that dopey thread situation. So these aren't hard to make. They're a little tedious. A little tedious. You like my laptop with all my stickers. My a friend of mine um, ordered me some of those B stickers. I use um, Sweet B Stampers is um, my team of um, stampers with Stampin' Up. So 
she ordered those so there look at those little boots so now um, let me put my glasses on so now I can see so like I said before I am a demonstrator with Stampin Up and I have all these embellishments a lot of these have been retired because you know things come things go and uh, I thought these would be fun to embellish the boots mm, excuse me um, just looking to see what I have in here these are all kind of little rhinestones and beads so let's see silver and clear oh these are fun so you know I don't get rid of anything because you know there's always a purpose so um, I'm gonna grab my little pokey tool a friend of mine Fran she had gotten this for me she made me up a little package of things I'm telling you I have like the most wonderful people friends so these have sticky on the back well, I don't think I like that you can't see it we need something brighter um, but I would probably go back and add some glue these are silver and <coughs> see I'm sorry silver and clear well oh, they fell on the floor I'll get them later oh they're little circles okay let's see how they look that one's kind of big although the circles kind of big let's see how that's gonna look I'll put it on here and then if I like it oh yes or there's little rhinestones or you can do pearls or yeah I would definitely go back and that is cute let me get some glue so this is what happens if you see my desk you would be like sue what in the world but I mean when I get involved in things like this I'm gonna put a little bit of glue because I don't trust that staying on you know if you have a little kit oh that fell came right off of there if you have little kitties children grandchildren or whatnot um, you know you don't want these things to be falling off and although they're kind of small enough but still you, you don't want anything to happen let me try to grab that so add a little bit of glue just for a little extra security and you don't need hot glue you know just some liquid glue would work and this dries clear so look isn't that fancy sometimes it's like little tiny things like this so if you're interested in looking at any kind of elements or if you're interested in the uh, paper snips that's what my little scissors are called you can go to my online store at Stampin Sue Creates. I'll put the link down below. Stampin Sue Creates. Stampinup.net. That's fun. Where's my other boots? And um, you know you can you can order different embellishments. We have pearls and rhinestones and um, and I think these little lady boots are gonna need some rhinestones. Um, oh, how about these? These I think are retired too. They're um, peacock rhinestones, I think. Let's see how that's going to be. I'm going to put a little bit of dab of glue. I think I'm going to use these purple ones. I got two purple ones left. Look at those fancy boots. These boots are made for walking for sure. just fix that press that on there and I'm just gonna set them out here to dry while I go um, and have my lunch okay so now these are kind of manly boots so um, let's see what I got in here I don't think I want that I don't think I want that I saw something that was kind of those are square look at the little butterflies a lot of these are retired but we have tons of of different embellishments that you can add need something like a like a gun metal oh look at these how about those no that blue <laughs> you're probably like Sue, just pick something would you please no 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 I can't do that maybe these would be how would these be on here let's just take a look these are called uh, iridescent pearls yeah that'll work you don't want them to look girly 
Although these could be girly cowboy boots. But you need some boots for the for the boy elves or you know, or Ken dolls or I mean whatever whatever you know, boots that you're gonna but I believe they're advertised like for the fashion twelve inch fashion dolls. I think. Okay. A little bit too much glue on that one, Sue. So. So anyhow, this is um, upcoming 4th of July. So I hope you have some plans. Oh my gosh, it's stuck to my finger. Hope you have some plans to go maybe see some fireworks, have a little cookout. Um, I'm going tonight. It's the only thing with this liquid glue is when it, you know, gets on your finger. You don't want to let go. Um, I'm going tonight to a fireworks display. Okay, I'm going to try a different one because I'm not playing with, I'm not playing with you there. Let's get another one. There. Okay, so I'm going to a little fireworks display, a little backyard party later on. My son's friend, they, um, they love fireworks. They're, they've taken... Now this one, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on here. Maybe these little, oh, what are these little things? Will you be able to see that? No. Um, they've taken class on, um, you know, how to do fireworks professionally. Not that, it's, these are hard to see. Put the glue there. Not that that makes it any better for me because I'm still nervous, but... Um, they invited me to come. Those are blue. I don't think I want blue. So I'm going to go to see the fireworks tonight. And I think they're going to have, you know, snack foods and all that. So I'm excited about that. Um, I don't get out too much anymore because I, I'm still not able to drive. And uh, maybe those clear ones here. Yeah, let's, let's see how that looks. So I'm excited when I get invited to go somewhere. There we go. Hmm. Maybe my order has arrived. That's the other thing. I order everything. Uh, anything that I need because I can't drive and get to the store all the time and, you know, need things tell you the one thing that probably came out of this whole uh, pandemic was the ability to order things that you need and have them delivered right to your door including cat food dog food litter you know all those things are heavy to begin with and when your strength is affected too you know it's good to have so there can you see them there's my boots i am excited with these boots i have made a major mess over here but I'm going to be continuing to do uh, lots more boots. If you are enjoying this, um, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hopefully a nice one. <laughs> I mean, I struggle sometimes with doing the videos, but I still enjoy doing them. And I like sharing um, things that I've learned along the way. And um, I really would appreciate... You know, you just giving me a like, subscribing, helping my channel. Hey, if you want to send me a super chat, you can go ahead and do that. If you don't know what that is, that's just, it's just a way to help me out with my channel. Just cleaning and tidying things up. And um, to just kind of do a little donation to help support the channel a little bit. Because um, I'm not working anymore. I'm on a disability right now. So money's a little tight. So a little bit here and there with selling some of my items and things, you know, kind of helps the channel a lot. But um, this has been really fun. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, then be sure to come on back and see more videos. And it should not have taken me 45 minutes to do this, but 
you all know I do not edit and if things happen, things happen, but maybe you learned something. Maybe, maybe I taught you something. And I have a little bird right outside my window sitting in the tree looking at me, probably wondering, who is she talking to? I'm talking to all my friends. Um, so anyhow, hey, congratulations to the channel. We got to 8,000 subscribers and I'm trying to think of something um, something to do to celebrate that with all of you. So if you have any ideas on that, let me know. Let me know, you know. I know I be keep talking about doing a live. Doing a live, maybe that, you know, would be uh, live and then whatever the project is, give away. I don't, I don't know. I have to start thinking. But anyhow, okay, I'm going to end now. Otherwise, it's going to be an hour because, you know, I talk too much. So have a wonderful day. Happy 4th of July. Please be safe. Enjoy your weekend, your extended long weekend for many of you. And um, until next time, happy stitching. Bye, everyone.